Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. A pillars before. So these are the factory A pillars. We're going to be modifying these. This is how they bolt in. Lovely that they got the clips. That makes me super freaking happy. Um, and we're gonna be modifying these to put our tweeters in up here. Got the factory. Definitely the airbags are there. So everything else in here, we're gonna leave stock, stock head unit. And then he has got the factory tweeters up there taken off off the dash which are actually pop clips as well it's kind of hard to believe they just use pop clips on those so here's the porsche a pillars that we're getting ready to fiberglass and fabricate this is the stock color um, we're ripping off the factory fabric because we've got a fiberglass everything so getting ready to rip that all off on both of these and then we're going to start getting everything all ready to put the uh, pods fiberglass into here all right, we've got all the fabric ripped off of this one. We're gonna go ahead and rip all the fabric off of this, and then we're gonna go ahead and set it in the car, and we're gonna get our stencil ready for where we're going to be able to place the pieces that we had made. All right, we've got everything drawn in where we want the A-pillar to be. This is our kind of our design, so we're gonna have to mimic this onto the uh, other pillar over here. So I've got it kind of where we want it, and we're gonna cut that out, and then basically we're gonna fiberglass this to the A pillar, make it all look like it was formed in there from the factory. All right, so we have our pieces here. We've went ahead, so these are gonna sit on top of these pieces because there's gonna be two more pieces of lamb in it that's gonna be sitting on top of these wood pieces. So these are gonna be separated, mount in with the tweeter. And then this one is going to actually be fiberglass to the A-pillar. What we've done is we've cut out this hole larger back there so that when we put this tweeter in here, that basically we can put the locking nut on the back side, which this isn't sitting in there correctly, but basically what we did was we got enough room around it to put the locking nut because this locking nut right here has to slide around that so you don't want to catch yourself in a bad situation where you can't put that locking nut on or knock one of these mount posts out so you got to be real careful about how you design these we also went around and die grinded all the way around where we're going to be duraglassing we will also go, go back through and smooth this out this is going to be the first layer of duraglass after that we're going to go ahead and sand all the way around because adhesion is everything this felt fabric that's still left the residue you want it to be the bare plastic and you want it to be grinded we use a 24 grit roll lock to go all the way around you do not want to have problems with adhesion. If you do, it will not hold in plastic and Duraglass do not mix well together. So you want to make sure it's grinded up real good wherever you're going to put that Duraglass at. Okay. 
We're gonna take our two part glue, which we have here. We're gonna go ahead and glue these into place before we dirt glass them because it'll make it a hundred times easier where we're not having to sit there and hold it and mess with it. Um, we also wanna get the perfect bevel. You don't want it to bevel one way. So if we bevel it too much, we have this gap. If we bevel it center, we will have a gap here and we will have a gap here, which is what we want. We don't want it to be where there's a huge massive gap because then you're gonna to have to build that up. So you want it to sit as flush as possible. Um, also where it sits as flat as possible so that that way it, it'll just make it much easier to make everything fit correctly. You do not want any problems with gaps and things like that because if you run into that, you're gonna have big problems with trying to match everything up. So right now it's looking pretty good. So we're just gonna put our glue just a tiny bit it's hard to get this all perfectly lined up it's like every time you move it it's like something else moves but this is important you don't want to mess any of this up because you mess any of this up then it's not going to be right I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there just to just to help hold it And get us the same gap on both sides, which is what we're looking for. Put a little more on there. I would definitely, definitely recommend using CA glue. If you try to use any other glue, it's going to become a nightmare, to be honest with you. I would not recommend doing that. You're gonna have a hell of a time trying to mess with this if you try to use hot glue or anything else or just try to put Duraglass straight over this. It's gonna move and move around on you. You want it to be held in a good position to where you don't have to worry about it moving while you're trying to Duraglass it. Okay, right now, I feel like it's in a really good position. So I have to get the other one to mimic it. But we've got the, Dur the CA glue here so that that way we can just Duraglass this and we can Duraglass this. This isn't sticking dramatically up here. This isn't sticking dramatically up here. It follows the contour. So now all we gotta do is build this up. Once we put this ring, we'll go on top of this. So we're gonna build it all the way up to there once we get this going. It's a lot of work, but in the end result, it's gonna look awesome. Now we've got everything CA glued on here where we want it to be. And the main objective of this piece is going to be the base. So once we fiberglass this into the A pillar, that is going to be our base. Then on top of that, we're gonna have these pieces, which are gonna sit on top, and they're gonna be built out of acrylic. So that's why we're gonna have to build it all the way up to this outer edge here. All right, we've got everything fiberglass now. So, Looks like a mess, but at least this piece is now attached to this piece. So that's how we want this to be. This to be the mold, and then these pieces are going to just pop off because they're gonna be made out of acrylic, so they're gonna pop off. So that's why we have this tape around them so that once we put it on here, it's just gonna bring that up to where we need it, and then it's gonna pop off. So that's exactly how these are gonna be made, but I know it looks like a mess now, but it'll look really good when it's all done. All right, here is the kick panels, or the <laughs> kick panels, A-pillars, working on kick panels as well. These look like a sloppy, jalopy mess, so understand that you're not gonna look like this after this. This is the hardest step is fiberglassing in because we have to build that ledge up so high, but this is what they look like so far. Ready for some time to relax. 
All right, here is the last layer of fiberglass. And then we're gonna start working on the filler stages. But this is a ton of work to get all this built up because you're building this up almost a quarter of an inch, trying to accommodate all three pieces that are gonna sit in here. Got the A pillars looking really good. Getting ready to sand those down. All right, we're on the filler stage on this one. And this one, we've pretty much got the filler sanded. A couple little spots we're touching up. But both of them are looking really good. This one's just about one or two steps behind. It's coming along nicely though. Here's what they look like finished. A ton of bodywork. And there's three pieces in there to make up for all the pieces that we're putting in here. Each one of them is about an eighth inch. That's kind of like what it looks like without the pieces in there. That's how much of a cavity you have to make. A lot of sanding and bodywork to make it all fit. Getting ready to wrap the pillars. We'll be using our glue. This is the material that we went with. Getting ready to wrap all this. Got everything completely lined off where we need to be. We're gonna go ahead and brush our contact cement onto here, basically dap weld wood. And then we're gonna go ahead and wrap these panels and they're definitely not gonna be fun. You wanna put this stuff on very even, not super heavy, because you're looking for it to attach itself to the material, but not be lumpy. The worst thing you could do is make it lumpy. I can tell you that it will straight go through the material and it'll look completely like it's got freckles. Just want to brush it on real nice. It's not a race. It's not about putting on the Got the whole piece covered. Everything's covered. I want to get down in the cracks in here. So we're gonna put that piece aside right here. And it needs some serious time to dry. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, piece that's gonna go onto it. I've got it super, super, super hot in here. So this stuff should be drying pretty quick, but I know I do this a lot different than anybody else because everybody else sprays this on, but I don't have time for that. It, everything about it I just keep having problems so I'd rather just do it this way it makes it faster it makes it easier I don't have any room for air or have any problems so this way just seems to work better for me it does sometimes take a little longer just because you're brushing it on versus spraying it on but at least I know it's done right I don't have to worry about anything so this is the way I do it now all right it's all wrapped getting ready to put the middle pieces in. We cut this all out in here. So we'll see what that looks like after. Okay, we're gonna be gluing this A pillar. This is the driver's side. We got all the body work done on here. So everything's all sanded off. Everything's ready to go. We have our piece laid out here. So we basically traced it onto here so that we could basically wrap it. We're gonna glue this section. And then we're gonna glue this section, let them dry. We'll be using our DAP Weldwood glue, which is what here is. Um, we're gonna just basically glue this, glue this, wait about 20 minutes, merge them together and wrap everything. Just wanna make sure that when you're doing this and you're applying the glue, I know a lot of guys spray this, I prefer to brush it because um, I have all the control. You don't want to put it on too heavy. You also don't want it to be in pools because if you have that, it's gonna cause problems with adhesion. It's gonna cause problems with what's on the exterior of this. Um, it can make it look like bubbles. It can make it look like it's got a bunch of stuff sitting underneath it. So I just tend to try to even it out. And when it's 
cold like this, like right here, it's about 20, in between 15 and 20 degrees here today, which I have the heat on full blast in here, but you gotta be super careful when it's hot outside because it will start to dry as soon as you put it on here and then it's gonna be really tough when you're merging spots like this, it'll start drying and it'll give you like these dry spots. And it really is tough because you can see that when you, um, when you put it on the part, it'll be, you know, kind of a discoloration or it won't stick as good in that one spot. And you definitely don't want that. So you just want to put this stuff on as even as possible. Don't want it to pull up. You don't want it to, you know, be heavy in certain spots and not in others. You see, it's already drying in here. It's so hot in here. Like I have the heat on full blast, but that's pretty much what you want it to look like. Same thing on here. We're gonna go ahead and start wrapping. All right, so now we're going to do the A-pillar piece. We went ahead and put some tape on the brush because it was trying to take a lot of the bristles off because it's so hot in here. It starts getting this glue super hot and then it wants to start just pulling the bristles out and you do not want the bristles on this piece. Even though you think a bristle is super small and it wouldn't show, it will show through, I promise you. It'll look like you have a big line. And trust me, I've done it many of times. You definitely want to make sure that you have this 100% even. You do not want to have any spots where it's uneven or too heavy, just like I just did right there. You do not want to have that happen or it will start pooling up. And see, I've already got brushes coming off on this. So I'm going to have to take a pick tool and pick them off. So what happens when it gets hot and this stuff just wants to start drying immediately. But you definitely want to let it dry for at least 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the temperature, before you bond these pieces together. Because if you put it together too fast, it won't be fully cured. And then the glue will not stick to each other. And you're going to have adhesion problems like crazy. And that is the one problem you do not want to have. Because then you're going to have to rip it off, sand it. And trust me, I have a... I've ran into that by trying to rush things and you do not, when it comes to A pillars and things like this, you do not want to rush stuff like this. This is not something that, you know, if people can't wait on something like this, then they just, they're probably not your customer to be honest with you because this is not something that you want to rush ever when it comes to uh, custom parts because here's what they should look like. Here in a few minutes, we're gonna merge these pieces together. We're gonna have to throw this thing with the heat gun. Okay, we got the piece all wrapped up. Now we just gotta, I'm gonna have to go over the heat gun. It's like producing all this stuff out of it. It's like shiny. It's like condensation or something. So I'm gonna go over the heat gun, try to heat it up all out and see what happens, but we'll see. Now we're gonna go ahead and glue the back side here so we can adhere it to the back side. All right, we got this one all done. So now we're just getting ready to put all the pieces down here and get all those plastic pieces going in here and all the templates and then we'll get her in the car. Okay, so we've got this 3M wood grain. This is what we use for this piece and the black acrylic we're gonna cover in the wood grain and then this will be the template that goes around it. So we're gonna cover this wood grain material onto this black acrylic so that this looks like a piece of wood grain instead of black acrylic. So that's what we're gonna do next. We'll go take our heat gun to it and heat her up, but I wanted the wood grain to be the same texture and 
pattern because you can actually feel the texture and the, the grain we want it to be the same as the uh, passenger side so now we're going to trim all this excess off and then trim this hole out and everything should be good and heat it up with our heat gun okay so we've got our wood grain piece in there now so now we're going to go ahead and start putting our laminate piece in there with the porch symbol and the ad 4000 series tweeter I love about these AD speakers, the 4000 series tweeters, is they have a metal locking ring on the back. So you basically thread them in, which is super nice. I like this, plus it's metal. This is metal, this is metal, this isn't plastic, which is super nice. So we're gonna put this in here, and the way I made this is I can just basically go around here to the back side, and then you can just get this collet on here and this ring. And then boom, you just tighten everything up. And then you don't have to worry about anything because the other plastic tweeters, you gotta glue them in or fiberglass them in. These are super nice the way that they work because you can just turn this collet on the back side and then everything works out for the best. Versus I hate having to hot glue or glue in tweeters or things like that. That is just a nightmare. So this is one of the reasons why I like the 4000 series tweeters as well, plus the grill. Everything on these is metal and they just look absolutely amazing. All right, we got it all put together. Got our wood grain in, got our 4000 series tweeter in, got the trim ring in. We're gonna go ahead and glue this trim ring in. We're gonna put some uh, 3M or tape it, basically 3M tape on here to hold this into this because this will just come right out. So that's what it looks like without it. And there's with the uh, final piece. That's what it looks like. All right, here they are, installed. There's the driver. There's the completed A-pillar. Look really good, matches really good. Might be a little bit off only because a lot of parts on this car